Hey, how's it going? Dave2D here. So the Galaxy S9 Plus, I've been using it for about two days at this point. Uh, I'm going into day three, and here's the thing. Samsung phones are usually not my favorite phone. Usually I find some kind of thing that I dislike about it, whether it's like some kind of hardware thing or like a speaker thing. I usually don't love Samsung phones enough to switch over to them, but this time around, really like this phone, hence this really short video where I kind of explain why. So this is the Pixel 2 XL, I'm switching over from this, to this and the big thing for me is actually not the camera or any kind of like the more heavily advertised features it's the speakers this is if i'm not mistaken the first samsung flagship that has had stereo speakers and it makes a really big difference for me when it comes to just the general use of this phone i often play music or watch videos on my phone and it's just a really big difference to have stereo speakers the camera like this is the thing that's kind of weird they advertise this thing really heavily they marketed this thing as like you know the world's first variable aperture camera and it's cool like the camera is great but seriously i took a bunch of photos and I don't really see a huge benefit of the variable aperture thing yet, at least not with the photos that I take. Now the low light performance is better on that Samsung S9. It's noticeably better than the S8, and I think it's actually better than even the Pixel 2 XL. For low light photos, it's gonna use the F 1.5 to let the most light in. The low light images are very clean on the S9, slightly cleaner than the Pixel 2 XL, but the difference feels pretty minor. When you compare it to the iPhone 10 though, the difference is more substantial. The slow-mo stuff is kind of neat, but it's not easy to time properly. The slow motion recording is activated by motion, not through user input, so it's not as easy as you might think. The AR emoji stuff is just straight up junk to me, but hey, that's just me. Now, it's a great camera, but the camera isn't what's making me switch to the S9. It really is the speakers. For Samsung to finally put stereo speakers on their flagship device just completes this phone for me. I also love the design. I forget how good the Samsung phones feel. I think that's something that we all kind of take for granted, the design of this phone. Like we've seen it so often, the S8 and the S8 Plus were so common because they were such good phones. If you look at this thing objectively and just kind of step back and think about about what this phone is, it is a beautiful phone. And this here, I feel like the curvature on the glass is just a little bit less pronounced. Like it's just a little bit easier to hold. It feels more comfortable in my hand than the S8 and the S8 Plus did. I also miss the wireless charging. It's like a bonus feature that comes with any of the Samsung flagships and the Pixel 2 XL didn't have it. The glass back on the S9 has the usual grimy fingerprint issues, but I put a skin on it. It's an easy fix and it makes it look good. The processor, like the new Snapdragon 845, it's fast, but it's, again, not the thing that makes me switch to it. And also the screen, when you switch over to this thing from anything that's like not a Samsung display, you kind of forget how good these ones are. It's a really good screen. It's supposed to be brighter, and it is. Like I've compared them side by side between the S8 and the S9. It is brighter, but I wouldn't base your decision on that because it's not that much brighter than the S8 or the S8 Plus screen. Now, I will say this. If you've disliked Samsung phones in the past for whatever reason, like if you don't like Bixby, or if you don't like the Samsung Experience UI and those things are deal breakers for you, then you probably won't like this phone again because it's not like a major revamp. It's still a Samsung phone through and through. It's just that I feel like they perfected the Samsung experience. It's like, it really is, in my opinion, the best Samsung phone that you could possibly make with our current technology. Like, what would you do to this thing to make it any better? It really is a kick-ass phone. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it. Subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.